Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. Welcome to this eight week update of the beautiful limited edition tank that was originally created at Tropica in Denmark by Philip Schwarz and Stefan Graf from Liquid Nature. This aquascape was set up with 10 other aquariums in preparation for Tropica's booth at Interzoo 2020 and to help celebrate their 50th birthday. You can check out the original vlogs of this aquascaping event by clicking the links in the description. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus pandemic, Interzoo has been postponed until further notice. However, we decided to keep this particular tank running with my colleague Radu sending me over this great footage so we can give you this update video. We hope you can enjoy it and it can provide some inspiration to enjoy your own planted aquariums too, especially during this time when many of us are spending more time at home. We also encourage you to consider how you can improve your own aquascapes or create new ones and by doing so support your local Tropica dealer. As you can see, this three metre long panoramic style aquarium featuring Tropica's limited edition plants is developing wonderfully. This aquascape is formed from three distinct islands made from driftwood and lava rocks. Now let's take a look at the plants in more detail and talk about some of the maintenance practices at the end. Here you can see the stunning Aponogeton madagascarensis developing to a good size, showing off its unique leaves that give it its name, the Madagascan lace plant. This bulb plant does best with strong lighting and a nutrient rich substrate. In this case, we are using T5 fluorescent lamps and Tropica aquarium soil. Tropica nutrition capsules can also be added to provide extra nutrients if and when required. Blixia japonica forms a great mid-ground plant with its interesting leaf shape and lush appearance. It can be a fast grower once established and the stems will eventually require trimming to keep it from growing too tall. The leaves can also change colour to give a red hue under different lighting and nutrient conditions. Here we are using Micranthemum Monte Carlo as a carpeting epiphyte plant that's attached between the lava stones and driftwood. We did experience some melting of this plant in the early weeks but it has recovered well and sending out runners that allow the plant to creep over the hardscape. Because we are using a combination of good lighting and CO2 injection, the plant produces visible oxygen bubbles on the leaves, a process known as purling. Rotala Vietnam forms the background with its distinct fine needle-like leaves that are similar in texture to the smaller Rotala Wallachii. Under stronger lighting, we can expect a more reddish coloration. It's a fast grower that needs trimming regularly to keep it in check. In front of the Rotala Vietnam, we have Rotala Green that contrasts well with its vibrant green colour. This has an interesting growth pattern in good light, with the stems creeping forward. It's another fast grower that needs trimming frequently. It's always a good idea to have a good proportion of fast growing plants in an aquarium, as these help to prevent algae growth. Moving to the foreground, we have Cryptocorani parva planted in the sand in front of the lava rocks. This is one of the slowest growing and smallest crypts that gives us a great transition from the open sand to the hardscape. Because it's grown in sand and not soil, it will definitely benefit from regular liquid fertilizer dosing, in our case a mixture of Tropica Premium and Tropica Specialized Nutrition. Barclay longifolia is planted in the midground to add a dash of color and textual interest. Because it is slightly shaded, its red coloration is not so pronounced and this plant is also known to be a slow starter. Barclay longifolia is actually part of the water lily family, but it does not send up floating leaves as do most other lily species. The hair grass, Eleocharis acicularis, is planted towards the rear of the aquarium and is slowly forming a full carpet. It is actually located in a darker area between the suspended lamps, so it isn't getting so much light, resulting in a relatively slow but healthy growth. Anubius mini coin is attached between the driftwood and lava rocks in the foreground behind the Cryptocorani parva. Some portions of the plant have damaged leaves, so these should be removed to allow the plant to spend its energy on growing fresh, new, healthy leaves. It's a very slow grower with small leaves when compared with other Anubius species, making it perfect for low maintenance aquascapes. Three species of Bucophalandra are also attached to the hardscape as epiphyte plants. Bucophalandra wavy green. Bucophalandra red and Bucophalandra kedigang are mixed to add an interesting variety of leaf shapes and colour. Like Anubius, Bucophalandra is a slow grower and will grow in lower lighting making it perfect for low maintenance setups. 
To help prevent algae buildup, we are using a combination of Amano shrimp and Nearite snails. They constantly graze the plants in hardscape, helping to keep any nuisance algae under control. It is a good idea to add an algae crew at the start of an aquascape's life in order to prevent algae. This is always a better option than adding them after algae problems have occurred. One 50% water change is carried out per week with Tropica Premium and Specialised Nutrition added after each water change. We mix the premium and specialised nutrition at a ratio to provide the ideal quantity of nitrates and phosphates. In our case, this is one third premium and two thirds specialised nutrition. During the water change, we also use the opportunity to siphon out any Tropica aquarium soil that has migrated onto the cosmetic sand foreground. We hope you have enjoyed following the progress of this beautiful aquascape created by the guys from Liquid Nature and maintained by our staff at Tropica. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled so you can stay updated on future videos. Take care and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye bye.